Welcome back to The Bible Says What? Today I will summarize Deuteronomy chapter 13, where Moses gave some instructions to the people what to do if they encountered idolatry in different situations. Moses began, if there is a so-called prophet or dreamer that does some sort of miracle or predicts the future accurately, but then afterward tries to tempt you to worship other gods, you must kill that prophet because he tried to lead you in rebellion against the one true God. The Lord allowed this prophet to see the future or to do a miracle to test you to see if your heart would be easily swayed away from loving the Lord your God. The Lord wanted to see what was truly in your heart. In the same way, if your son or brother or wife you cherish or your friend secretly tries to entice you to follow other gods, you shall not yield or listen to them. In fact, you are to harden your heart toward them, and you are actually to put them to death. Your hand is to be the first one to throw the first stone to kill them. All Israel will see and hear about it and will learn from the example that idolatry will not be tolerated, and they will never again do such a wicked thing. Moses continued, If you hear about worthless men in one of your cities that went around to other places and tried to seduce other people to turn away from following the Lord and go serve other weak, pathetic gods, you shall investigate the matter thoroughly. If this is actually true and the men of that city actually got together to organize a campaign to lead other people astray and away from the Lord, You shall gather men of war and go into that city and kill everyone in the city. The people of the city did not stop these men from doing what they did, so they are just as guilty. After you kill everyone in that city and kill all of the livestock of that city, you are to gather everything of value from that city and pile it up in the city square. You should burn everything with fire as a whole burnt offering to the Lord. The city should never be rebuilt. Make sure you do not take anything from that city as it is all defiled and should be considered banned. Don't let any banned item be found in your hand. If you obey, the Lord will see your love and dedication for him above all else, and he will show you compassion and will bless you. The most important verse in this chapter is Deuteronomy 13.4, which states, He shall walk after the Lord your God, and fear him, and keep his commandments, and obey his voice, and ye shall serve him, and cleave unto him. The thing I think the Lord wants us to understand after reading this chapter is that he will let people do miracles and accurately predict the future to test us. Will we listen to the prophet or miracle man when he or she tries to lead us away from the Lord? Or will we have a genuine love and devotion for the Lord? God wants us to love him more than we love our family and friends. And God wants us to see that he is serious about holiness. It is not a game to him. Is God testing you in something right now? Is someone or something tempting you to turn away from loving the Lord with all of your heart? Perhaps you have never come to a saving faith in Jesus. Today would be a great day to do that. Why don't you consider repenting for your sin and turn to the Lord for salvation? Jesus humbled himself and died on a cross as my substitute and your substitute, and the Father raised Jesus from the dead. God said that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and if you believe in your heart that the Father raised Jesus from the dead, you would be saved. Why don't you do that right now? Thanks for watching the Deuteronomy chapter 13 episode. If you enjoyed it, please share it with someone. If you want to join me on this long video journey, feel free to subscribe to the channel. See you next time.